How likely is life on another planet? The first step is finding a planet on which life could exist. And the Kepler mission may eventually discover an Earth-like planet orbiting a Sun-like star, perhaps in the habitable zone around the star. Five, four, three, two, engine start. Launched less than two years ago, the telescope has returned immense amounts of data, and scientists have only begun looking at the first few months' worth. Yet their discoveries have already made headlines. Looking at only 156,000 stars every 30 minutes, Kepler has discovered over 1,200 planet candidates, 54 of them in the habitable zone, and several star systems with multiple planet candidates. Kepler detects the planet candidates by looking for very slight dips in the brightness of their parent stars. The dip occurs when the planet passes between us and its star, which happens once during each orbit of the planet around the star. To confirm a planet, Kepler needs to observe three orbits. For a planet such as Earth, that would take three years, the entire length of the Kepler mission. But the work doesn't end there. We conduct a number of follow-up observations from the ground and from space-based assets like Hubble Telescope or uh, Spitzer. And that is to confirm the planetary nature of these objects requires a lot of hard work and effort after we've made the detection in the data itself from Kepler. That means the confirmation of a habitable planet may not take place for quite a while. Most of us want to find other Earth-sized planets orbiting sun-like stars. It'll be a big thrill to find those, but we just have to let nature answer this very important question that we've been asking ourselves for 2,000 years or more. In the meantime, Kepler provides extraordinary science, changing what we know about planets and planet formation. Kepler's changing the game.